Yes, that is right, Elise. This is the continuation slash final end of the journey of Brightstone. It's me, the Elite Ace. We live action. You already know what it is. As you can see, I got my bearing straight because in the last video, it was just chaotic and hectic in that little area with the damn quicksand sinkhole, but we don't have to worry about that no more. I'm still in that area, but I'm just, you know, past that part, if that makes sense. Okay. Off rip, I can tell by them stone bodies. I'm gonna fight some of them uh, lizards. Oh, look at that. Yo, there you go. My damn sword is uh, man. See, that's why it's always good to carry more than one weapon on you. Some people actually carry one weapon. You know, you got Dark Souls players like that, but me, nah. I like to take precautions. But this weapon right here, man, I'm telling you, old faithful, this is the weapon I started out with and I've been upgrading it and upgrading it is yet to fail me. Oh man, what is it? A damn phantom in the mix. Okay. Oh, you wanna dance? Let's do this. Motivator got a damn pickaxe and a shield. Damn. Motivator knocked me off my damn feet. Oh, I see. Oh, my damn sword broke. Look at that. See, now I got to switch to the Zampato. You can never fail with the Zampato. See, it works every time. I had to dance around with him a little bit. If I'd have got ahead of myself, like in a couple of my other Dark Souls videos, I'd have died. But yet, you can take all the precaution you want in this game. It seems like you, you're you still going to die. Whether it's through an area hazard, a surprise, a, just a ambush, anything. Some strong ass wood. Now, somebody confirmed for me down below you know in the comment section I read somewhere that hitting your weapon up against the wall that puts wear and tear on it you know that's what makes it become damaged and and it makes it becomes easier to be broken but I don't know if that's true I mean it makes sense it's real but if that's the case then damn I can't tell you how many times especially backing up going through doorways swinging I've been smacking my weapons up against the wall or trying to cut down doors I don't like the looks of this. There's only one way to go. There go more of them bodies on that rock. See, it's, it's, it's something up with that. Be wary of enemy horde up. Yeah, see? So I spoke about ambushes. Look at that, man. Damn, spiders latching onto their back. Possessing them things. Look at that spider markings on the damn door. Oh yeah, this see this 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 looks suspicious right here. It's too much open space. Oh hell no, yeah, see, see, and I don't play this spider mess. Like I said before, I I, I don't do spiders. I was just posted up waiting on me. At least they one-hit kills. But in groups. Hell, just like with all enemies on this game. Oh damn. <laughs> A group of enemies is very, very lethal. Be wary of monster. I have to guess, I bet he's in here. Yep. Yeah, see, like that scenario right there. My weapon was getting smacked all up against the wall. I don't know if that was affecting this, 
you know, durability or not. Oh man, yeah, see. I'm rather rolling up on a nest with a damn queen. He's motivating the arachnids, man. Oh man. <laughs> I've died like that before. You go to jump and they do that roll, and it's like you just continue to go off the edge. I'm not going to lie. It is kind of funny seeing the way people die in this game. Hell, I know you all know. I know some of y'all be laughing at me when I die. Sometimes I got to laugh at it myself. Oh, see, I almost feel right there. I know for one thing, I, I sure as hell be laughing at my brother. <laughs> Man, if one more damn spider dropped down on me. I need to be watching the ceilings, man. Yeah, I man, if I was ever sucked into any game, I would hate to be. Or any game or series, I would hate to be sucked into. Oh, I see missed. Gotta be the boss. I hate to be put in the scenario dealing with spiders. Especially when I was watching, uh, was that Naruto, the first Naruto? You know, I'm pretty sure I got some Naruto fans watching this. And I forget the guy's name, but he fought some enemy where he could summon these spiders. He could control spiders. I, it, it's that right there. Yeah, he would have been a very lethal foe for me. Because, you know, you can't stay focused when you're afraid or freaking out or panicking. So, all them damn spiders now. And I know y'all think it's speaking of which, Ace, how far are you in Naruto? That's one of the questions I get a lot. One of the questions. Um, I plan on doing another Q&A, you know, because the last one I did, uh, it was cool. But I can imagine now the amount of questions people will probably have for me or already have for me because I gained quite a few more subscribers since the last time I did a Q&A, so... Where I'm at in Naruto right now, yes, of course, I completed. Damn, even this is at risk. So, yeah, I keep his on pot. So, I hope this guy doesn't die quickly. Anyway, I finished the first Naruto. We all know that. But Shippuden, man, I'm so far behind in Shippuden, man. I don't even want to tell y'all where I'm at. <laughs> I just don't want to tell y'all. Y'all going to be like, damn. And no, I don't watch any of the Naruto Shippuden reviews. Because it'll be spoiling, uh, you know, the series for me. I had a few questions. Like, I seen Game on Cloud9 recently for the uh, Media Expo. And I asked him what was going on in the current art. You know, like, it, he could tell I was asking a spoiler-free question. You know, he gave me updates on how strong Naruto was. You know, that type of jazz. And Sasuke. All right, cool. So I'm ready now. Got the poison and two spirits. All right, y'all. Let's do this. Wait a minute. Okay, I have to make sure. Because sometimes you go through this fog, man. They do not follow you. Oh, dance cutscene. I bet it's a big ass spider. What the hell is going on? How I know. Oh, here we go with this. Oh man, see I hate that man. Any any game where the enemy or the boss gotta have a gun to their minions. See, man, I wish I can command these dudes, man. I want them to take care of the spiders. 
Well, I'll take care of the boss, but then again. Okay, let's see. Okay, attacking the legs don't work. This thing got two faces? Hey, that's fine with me. Oh, don't want to get hit by that. Oh, he's gone already. Oh, man. Gotta be. Okay, there we go. Okay, so far, so good. Oh, man. Come on. San Pato time. I will go Kendo style, but I gotta have that shield ready, especially with this. This is a Dark Souls boss. Oh man, I hope that's not what I thought he was spitting, man. It's like this acid gunk on this game to where it'll just instantly put wear and tear on your items and just, then just eventually break it. Yeah, see, that stuff he spits it. Damn. Move, 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 move. Aw, oh, you is shitting me. Damn. Man, oh, man. Why am I not surprised? That's the one thing I gotta keep in my Dark Souls Let's Play. Some type of death. The common motivating fruit. Then you're forced to stare at this loading screen. Sometimes they show items you don't give a damn about. And look at where they started me. Oh, hell no. They think I'm gonna make my... Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Okay. Yeah, they got me... Uh. They got me plucked up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to cut this short. And head on to uh, the town. And do a round two. Okay, take two. This time what I'm. <laughs> Damn, can I talk? <laughs> this time. Okay. I'm going to have to do this a little bit differently. Because as you can see, the summoning sign. It's not there. You know the other one. So I'm only stuck with one guy. Right, let's do this. All right, y'all. We got to make this one count. Damn, so you can't go in ready or pumped up for nothing. All right, but as you can see, naturally, yes, I repaired all my weapons. Even the ring that protects me from losing my souls when I die. So I'm good to go. But to finish off what I was talking about uh, before this damn thing killed me, the DLC. Now I am glad there is going to be DLC to this because we all know I'm a fan of Dark Souls now so I want there to be more of it that I can play. Now some of you are cool with DLC some of you aren't cool with it but he said there wasn't going to be any DLC at all. He just wanted to give us the full experience but hey we see we're getting more of it and there's, it's going to be split in three parts. It's coming out this year the first part is called Crown of the Sunken King. That comes out July 22nd. That'll be here before you know it. Then the next part is Crown of the Old Iron King, which comes out August 26th. And then the last one, Crown of the Ivory King, which comes out September 24th. Now, yes, I will get all three of those, and I will upload that onto my channel. Of course, yes, and it has been confirmed. New weapons, new armor. Yes, of course, new locations and new enemies. So I'm real amped and curious about what the DLC is going to bring to the table. Hell, I might even find some new armor sets that uh, re will replace this one. See, I could really use another person right now. And this thing isn't hard. I mean, he, as you can see, he's not hard. It's just a big, cumbersome, slow spider I mean he has a pattern like every other boss in any other game unless the developers program the AI to not have a pattern 
But we all know the bosses are on Dark Souls. Even the enemies have a pattern. Oh, see, he's going crazy with that. You can, you know that naturally. You can see his life down below. But like any boss in any other game, when the health gets low, they start to just extend the length. They're spamming attacks, and they do these new things that they didn't do before when their health uh, higher. Oh, he's done now. Bam, that's what I'm talking about. Victory achieved. Give me them souls. These damn little critters are still crawling around. I swear, man, I don't want to see yet another spider in this game. Great soul embrace. Okay, I don't know what that noise was. Damn, I don't know if it was from that dragon up there or what. And I don't know what this purple mark is on the ground, but I guess I got to go back to see about it. And the bonfire should be down this path. And what the hell is going on? Lord's private chamber. Well, I see I can't, uh, oh, yeah, he's, he's an enemy, all right. Yeah, back up. Right stone key, huh? Oh, man, see, I wasn't expecting this. Coming from a cave full of spiders to a damn private chamber that looks like an abandoned library. Well, if I had to guess, the damn bonfire has to be down here. Has to be. And that was a major boss because it was a cutscene. Yep, I was right. Bonfire is right there, and it will be guarded by some motivator. Who is this dude? It's like a pirate with two swords. Hmm. A headless Cervantes, basically. We got some low defense. Or maybe just my sword is hella strong. But well, let's finish this with the Zampato. All in his honor. Got him. Fin girls, armor, gloves, and boots. At least I got the whole set. Well, minus the head. Primal bonfire lit. Yes, and got the achievement. Well, at least that concludes my whole journey through Brightstone. We've been going through this long enough. Thanks for watching. I have more Dark Souls 2 uploaded. I'm signing out.